Hello and welcome back to Sword of Strategy and another episode of Archetype Explained. As you can see, this time I'll be doing Cyber Dragons. Um, just want to mention that I've done most of the really meta-relevant... Well, there are other ones, but I've done the like top five decks for sure. So, if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, drop a comment. I'll cover that next or whatever. Um, for any of you getting back into the game or trying to learn uh, competitive decks, that would be uh, handy for me and probably for you too. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, going to probably just jump straight in. So, Cyber Dragons, the OG guy. Uh, most of them are, they're all light, except for some of the X-Rec ones. Uh, level 5 is pretty important to the archetype, and they're all machine. So, yeah, I'm going to jump straight in, because I've actually done this video already, but it turned out way too long, even though there's not that many cards to cover, so I will be faster this time. So, uh, if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Not once per turn, and if you control a monster, you can still do this. So, that's really good. Uh, moving on. Cyber Dragon Core. So, level 2, Light Machine. When this card is normal summoned, add a Cyber Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Really, really nice. Um, if your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Cyber Dragon from your deck. So, again, if you control a monster, you can still do this. You can only use one effect of this guy once per turn. Uh, and only once, yeah, only once a turn. Um, become Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. So, anyone who's not this boy pretty much has that effect. So, Core, Hurts, Nashter, even Veer and Dry. I'm mentioning Dry, by the way, uh, for any experienced players. I'm going to mention them, alright? Um, these all count as this boy on the field or in the grave. So, yeah. Um, Dragon Core searches a spell or trap on summon. So, that means that you can pretty much search pretty much anything. Cyber Emergency is searchable. Plant. Rev System. Uh, cyber Load, I don't think, is searchable because it's not a cyber... It's Cyber Load is the word. I'm 99% sure, but yeah. Confirmation, I guess, would be nice, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right, but yeah. Um, next card, Cyber Dragon Hurts. This card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. Uh, you can only use one of the following effects per turn and only once that turn. If this card is special, you can make this card's name become level 5 and you're locked to machines for the rest of the turn. That doesn't matter. Locked to machines. Everything's machine, pretty much. Nearly. Um, then... If this card is sent to the graveyard, this is the main thing, you can add a Cyber Dragon from your deck to your hand. So, yeah, a plus, pretty much. Pretty nice. Um, linking him off, you get the search. It's pretty solid. Again, this guy's level 1, so he's a 1 for 1 target if you want. Uh, play 3 Cyber Dragon, play 3 Core. 3 or 2 Hurts, I've seen people playing 2, and then 3 or 2 Nashter. If you're playing 3 Hurts, people are cutting this to 2, and if you're playing 3 Nashter, people are cutting Hurts to 2. I guess personal preference, and then you're also seeing lots of decks playing 3 of each, so yeah, it's down to whatever you think, I guess. Sometimes space is a, is a problem or whatever, but yeah. Um, Nashter now next, so again, level 1, so he's a 1 for 1 target. If this, this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon 1 on the field or in the grave, you can discard one monster special on this card from your hand. Pretty nice, seeing as a lot of them have grave effects, uh, or are, are at least useful in the grave. Uh, when this card is normal or special summon, so by his own effect, you can target machine monster with 21 attack or defense in your graveyard, special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon monster for the rest of the turn except for machines. Most of the time, it doesn't matter. You can see, you can only use the effect of this once per turn. Right, so, first thing I want to mention. So, you can special summon things with 2100 attack or defense, meaning Cyber Dragon, uh, or OG Guy, it can be Zeger, it can be uh, Rampage Dragon, it can be... Dingirsu. So Dingirsu is really cool in this deck because Dingirsu can be summoned when you summon Levianir, which obviously I'll get to eventually, and also Khmer Tech. And then Levianir, uh, Dingirsu, when he's summoned back by Nashter, can obviously get his Send to Grave effect or attach one of your banished uh, machines as a material. And then you have protection on the field as well as a 2-6 attack body, body, which is really good. You can basically abuse the shit out of Dingirsu with Nashter. Todd had mentioned that. And I will come to that in a bit. I'll read Dingusu probably now, actually. Uh, basically, um, that all doesn't matter. If a card you control be destroyed by battle or card effects, you can detach material from this instead. So he protects. He would have no material if he's brought back from the grave by Natter. But when you first make him, he will have this. And then when he special, special summoned, you can activate one of these effects. So when he special summoned by Natter as well, you can activate one of these effects. Send a card to your opponent controls the graveyard. Non-targeting, non-destruction. Really good, as everyone knows. And then attach a banished machine to this guy's material. So if he summons from the grave with no materials, you can give him material if you want to do that over the send to grave effect. And then he has the protect effect again as well. So yeah. Anyway, enough time on Nashter. Moving on. Cyber Dragon Veer. Um, this guy's pretty much played at none or one. I really like him. Uh, enough that I'd nearly consider playing two, but I don't think I ever would. One, I think, is the sweet spot. Uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. When this, car this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon when in the field or a grave. When 
If you normal summon or special summon a Cyber Dragon monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. Each Cyber Dragon you control gains 500 attack and defense. So, uh, an extender, yeah, the 500 attack and defense, pretty nice. But, he can chain block, that's the main thing. So if you summon Core for your search, you can special summon out Veer, pretty nice. Or even uh, if Nashter is going to summon from the graveyard, you can special summon Veer and now they can't Ash or Valor. I mean Valor, you can't Ash this anyway. But they can't Ash or Valor Core, they can't Valor Nashter or whatever impermanence even. So yeah, pretty solid, I like him. Consider that yourself. So, Cyber Dragon Dry is one of these cards that most people, as in most as in 99% of people probably won't play, but... I kind of like it, I wouldn't play it myself, but I guess, I, I saw it in the profile basically, and I'll show you the profile uh, in the end. So, uh, this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the grave. When this card is normal summoned, you can make all other Cyber Dragons you control become level 5. So that will be all of these boys, because they all count while on the field. Um, you cannot special summon any monsters during the turn you activate this, except for machines. If this card is banished, you can target a Cyber Dragon you control. It won't be destroyed by battle or card effect this turn. So, if you were to banish him with... Uh, Levianir, you can use this effect to protect, say, Zeger if he's in the extra deck zone. Uh, just for example. So it's kind of cool, it's got a weird kind of bit of synergy, I guess. And then the other thing is, if you normal summon this guy, and then activate his effect to make everything... Uh, because it's all things you currently control at the time of his normal summon, and then you chain Veer to special summon, it'll go backwards, obviously. And the, the way it basically works is that... When you normal summon him, Veer summons, they're both level 5, and then you can go into your Nova, for example. Uh, just a weird little bit of synergy, I thought I'd mention it. Anyway, moving on. Probably won't play him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Galaxy Soldier, right. So this guy is light, level 5 machine. He's basically meant for this deck. He's really, really good. I really like him. Uh, you can send another light from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand in defense. Uh, when this card is special summoned, you can add a Galaxy Monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. So he sends something from your hand to the graveyard. Pretty solid, seeing as... Uh, this guy will get his effect, for example, his search for a Cyber Dragon. Um, and then, also Core can go off, but only if you can, if your opponent controls a monster. But that's fine, most of the time you're going second. Uh, Heal Summon, he's an extender, pretty solid, level 5, as I said. And then, he searches a Galaxy Monster, but that doesn't, it doesn't say excluding himself. So this guy's played at 2, sometimes 3, most of the time now 2. Uh, basically, you can search the other copy for the next turn, it's pretty nice. Uh, next card, Cyber Emergency. This card is really good. Add a light machine that cannot be normal summoned or set, that's for another archetype, I'm pretty sure. Uh, or a cyber dragon monster. Win uh, from your deck to your hand. So yeah, it's just three rotas, pretty nice to have in your deck. And then basically means you'll see double of these, and if you're going second, you can go into these, which I'll get to later if you don't know what these do. They're pretty much like kaijus on crack, kind of, so yeah. Seeing cyber dragon, you need cyber dragon for these, pretty much. So six cyber dragons in your deck is really nice. Then, they, this card has another extra effect, which is pretty nice too. Um, if this was negated and sent to the grave by a opponent, pretty much, uh, yeah, by opponent, uh, you can discard a card, add this card to your hand, you can only activate this once per turn. So you can discard to get it back, and then the once per turn doesn't matter, I'm 99% sure, I'm just doubting myself because I'm on video, but yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, you can activate it again because it was negated, so you can activate this, if they negate it, add it back, they don't know the second effect a lot of the time, they don't read it. And then you can activate it again. So, yeah, you just have to discard it for cost. Or, uh, is it a ca cost? It is. But yeah, pretty pretty schlick. Just having the extra part basically means that this will nearly always go through. It's pretty solid. If you ash this, though, it's not a negate. It neg it's like, it doesn't negate the activation. It negates the effect or something like You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, that's enough time on that. It's a great card. Play three. Repair Plant. This card is played at... 2 or 1 most of the time, some people play even 3. I think it's a great card, but i probably play 2 just for one reason and one reason only. It's only good if you have a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard. That is all of these, because these all count as a Cyber Dragon in your grave, so it doesn't really matter, but I guess sometimes if you see this... Uh, it's not even once per turn, so drawing 2 of this is actually not the worst, but you get what I'm saying. Um, you need a Cyber Dragon in grave, so I think 2 is safe. Um, if the Cyber Dragon is in your graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. If you have three or more in your graveyard, you can activate both effects, but in order, okay? So, first effect, add a Light Machine from your deck to your hand. So, it's a Light Machine, which means you could even search Galaxy Soldier. You probably won't, but if you want to, you can. Um, and then, second effect is target Light Machine in your graveyard. Shuffle it into the deck, which is actually solid enough as well. Um, yeah, two or one, up to you. Cyber Rev System. This is a card that people are playing at one or none. I would play it. It's a searchable... Extender, it's really nice, I think, anyway. Um, 
pretty solid. Uh, special summon one Cyber Dragon from your hand or graveyard. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. The second part people forget about. It's just like basically a Monster Reborn that's searchable and has an extra effect. It's pretty nice if you summon core, search rev system, activate red system, summon Nashter, Nashter is special summon so he can special summon a 2100 attacker defense from the graveyard. It basically it's just like a one card tree monsters. It's really really nice. Really good combo. Anyway, moving on. Not much to say about that. Cyberload Fusion. Fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck that lists Cyber Dragon as a material by shuffling materials into the deck from your field or banished cards. Face up banished cards. But monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of the turn except for the one you summon, the fusion monster you summon. Uh, once per turn, this card can be activated. Right. Okay, so um, summoning from using banished cards is actually really nice. The guy you, the fact that the guy you summon is the only one that can attack doesn't matter. He can attack multiple times. I'll read him next, don't worry. Uh, getting things to your banished zone like, can be like kind of hard, but now in more recent times, people have been teching in Levianir, and we all know what Levianir does, but I'll read it anyway. Uh, well, we all know what the Dark, Banishing Three Darks does, anyway, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, really good, shuffle things back into your deck to be used again, so I'm going to read the guy you summon now next, right? Uh, you summon Khmer Tech Rampage Dragon, 2 plus Cyber Dragon Monsters, so... Uh, the 2 plus is really nice because if you have loads of banished stuff, which you probably won't, you'll only have like 3 or something like that, uh, you can put them all back and for being reused, which is solid. Uh, then, I'm just going to read its effect now. So, a fusion monster that... A fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion materials. When this card is fusion summoned, you can target spell or traps on the field up to the number of materials used for his summon, destroy them. So, if it's because it's 2 or more, you can shuffle back 2 or three, or five, or whatever, and pop five if you had to, you know what I mean, or if you had the materials. It's pretty nice, so popping back row is already great. Um, once per turn, you can send two lights from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, for each monster sent to the graveyard, this guy gains an additional attack each battle phase this turn. Uh, during each battle phase this turn, I don't know why it says that, but basically he gains two extra attacks this turn. So. Right, so you're shuffling stuff back into the deck, okay? You summon this guy, you send two things from the deck to the graveyard. So you can shuffle back whatever you want him to send, which is pretty nice. So if you shuffle back Hertz, for example, you can send Hertz again with Rampage and then get a search off Hertz for your Cyber Dragon. So yeah, just a bit of synergy there, really, really good. And then he'll get to attack two additional times and he's 2-1. So he will obviously do 6-3 damage. Uh, well, obviously depending on what's on the opponent's field. But yeah, him attacking three times. Really, really, really good. Uh, at this moment, I want to tell you about Cyber Dragon Seeger. So, this is their Link Monster. Really good. Only one arrow pointing down, but doesn't really matter, seeing as you're playing Cyber Dragons, and this boy can attack three times. Uh, him attacking three times with 2-1 doesn't seem that impressive, but I'll read this guy, and then you can change your mind. Um, this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon when in the field or grave during each battle phase. Uh, if this card has not declared an attack, quick effect, you can target machine monster you control with 2,100 or more attack, being this boy. Uh, then, for the rest of the turn, that monster gains 2,100 attack and defense. Also, neither player takes any battle damage from attacks involving this card, not the target. So, this says you can only attack with the guy you summon anyway, so him not being able to do damage that turn doesn't matter. So you make this, give him an extra 2-1, he's on 4-2 and now he can attack 3 times ridiculous he pretty much outs any monster by attacking it except for like avermax i guess and then you can attack two more times it's really really strong you'll, you'll otk pretty much if you make this guy with Zeger on the field um and you can only use the effect once per turn so yeah solid solid as fuck um yeah now i'm gonna move on to the next two cards because levianir is being played um you don't see overload fusion as much now but i'll read both anyway uh levianir so must be special summoned by banishing three lights or and three darks so you can do a mixture of both or just one or the other from your graveyard when this card is summoned this way apply this effect based on the attributes of the monsters banished for the special summon you can only you cannot attack to turn you cannot attack for the rest of this turn so uh the not attacking is fine you can link them off be careful because as i mentioned some of the cards i mentioned earlier lock you to machines and um, this guy's a dragon but this can help you get around like um what's called there can be only one or whatever so yeah Pretty solid. Uh, anyway, so if you banish only lights, which happens fairly often, you can banish, you can special summon a monster from your graveyard in defense. So link them off. It's pretty nice. Uh, uh, all darks, which 
doesn't really happen pretty much ever, but this is the one we all know from Thunder Dragons. Shuffle a random card from your opponent's hand into the deck, and then the both a light and a dark, which happens fairly often. You see no darks in the main other than Levioneer? That's fine. All of these are dark, and you pretty much make one of the two of these uh, every first turn, we'll say, because you're going to be going second, and when I get to these, you'll understand. So, yeah. Uh, light and a dark. Banish, or destroy two cards on the field. It doesn't target. You can only use the effect... Uh, this effect once per turn. So yeah, play this guy too if you're playing him. I really like it. It's really really good You'll always have the dark don't worry about it if you want to do the dark effect and then the summon and a light even is pretty nice, too So yeah an extra body And um, the next card then overload fusion fusion summon one dark machine from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your field or graveyard so again this can feed your cyberload fusion uh, again, if you if you resolve Cyberload Fusion and summon this, it's game over anyway, but you can run these as kind of more... This one kind of, you want to... You don't want to see it early. I guess this only works if you stuff in the Banished Zone. So you have to resolve Levioneer, we'll say, first. Um, but at least with if you're playing Overload Fusion at 2 or even 3, I've seen, you can banish a shit ton, make him, and if he gets Veilard or Ash or whatever, you can actually just activate this then after and... Proceed to kick the shit out of your opponent, pretty much. Uh, I quite like it. It's something I'd mess around with. I don't know if it would be in my final build or whatever. But, I, I don't know. It's pretty... Something to think about, definitely, for sure. Uh, the only Cyber Dragon trap that I would really consider is Cybernetic Overflow. So, banish Cyber Dragons with different levels from your hand, field, or grave. And destroy an equal number of cards on your that your opponent controls. So, it's non-targeting destruction. It's pretty nice. It's a good one of in the main, I think. And then it can help uh, feed your, again, feed your Cyber Load Fusion. Um, then, if this is destroyed by card effect, add a Cyber Dragon, a Cyber, Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. So you can pop this yourself and search a Spell or Trap. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I think, I think I'd think i main one of these, but I could, if you didn't want to main one, I could see why. I guess just it's nice to just out shit, pretty much. Uh, you can banish and pop a ton of stuff. So, yeah, really good. Uh, machine dupe, right, so, machine dupe, I'll read it first, obviously, um, target machine monster you control at 50, 500 or less attack, special summon two monsters from the deck with the same name as that monster, so, uh, machine duplication has, if you're playing three of each of these, nine targets in your deck, so, and even if you cut one of the Nashter, cut it hurts, uh, you should still be playing at least eight copies, right, so you'd have three of core, three of one of the two of these, and then two of whichever one you're not playing three of, so, yeah, uh, Machine Dupe, some, a lot of people play 3, some play 2, some people play 1 as a one-off power card that they don't want to see multiple copies of, and then some people play none of this. I would say definitely play it. Uh, I personally would play it at 2, I think it's really strong, and just, you know, I love it for the fact that if you summon Core and they Ash it, and then you Machine Dupe them, you've gained so much advantage there, just, you can see their face just like, oh, fuck. I asked the wrong thing, but really they didn't ask the wrong thing. There's no way they could have known you had machine dupe. What if they didn't ask the core and then you didn't have a machine dupe? You know what I mean? So they kind of have to. Uh, really, really strong. And yeah, I, I like it. It makes your opponent have to think about what they're doing with their ash, which is nice. Um, next card, Instant Fusion. A card that you don't see that much anymore, but uh, in Cyber Dragons at least anyway. But I, I really like it. Personally, it's just an extender. Special summon level 5 or lower fusion monster from your extract, but it cannot attack and destroy it during the end phase. You can only use this once per turn. Your target for this is Panzer Dragon. So, Panzer Dragon is a light machine, which is nice. Um, bit of synergy there. But then also, his effect is kind of irrelevant, but not not really irrelevant. I'll read it to you because it can come up. When he's destroyed and sent to graveyard, target card in the field, destroy it. Or if, it's if, not when. Um, really, really good. Actually, for in a slower game, let's say you're against... I don't know, Sky Strikers or something like that, and you have Instant Fusion, you, you activate this, Summon Panzer Dragon, end your turn, he dies because of Instant Fusion, now you can pop their multi-roll or something like that, do you know what I mean? It's basically good for getting rid of Floodgates or multi-roll, but it's slow, so keep that in mind. If you're not going to use them to link off, at least you can use his effect. Pretty much you're always going to link off with it though, just, just thought I'd say that. Anyway. Uh, one for one, obvious reason. Send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one level one from your hand or deck. So you have lots of targets for your level ones, pretty much. And then Foolish is just good because uh, Naster has a search when you send him to the graveyard. So that's extra targets of this. And if you're always going second, which you probably will be most of the time unless uh, it's after game one, you need your Cyber Dragons to make these. I'll get to them in a bit, don't worry. 
Or you can send even um, Core to the graveyard. He has a good grave effect. And then this guy, when he's summoned from the grave, it depends on the situation, obviously. But he gets his effect when he's special summoned from anywhere. So if you away someone from graveyard, let's say you hard drew this, which is not ideal, you could foolish this guy and then summon him back and get his effect. Do you know what I mean? There's other, there's weird ways to do it. Foolish is not bad in the deck at all, by any means. But yeah, some people don't play it. So I've read Seeger, I've read Rampage. I haven't read these two boys. I've read Dingir and I've read Panzer Dragon. So four left, right? Um, Stick with me, boys. Come here, tech, Mega Fleet Dragon. So, I think I just said Mega Feet Dragon, but <laughs> you Mega Fleet. Uh, a Cyber Dragon and one plus, one or more monsters from the extra monster zone. So that's either player's monster zone, by the way. So, uh, when you're going second, you summon your Cyber Dragon. This guy doesn't use polymerization. He just, he's like a contact fusion, like Glad Beast or uh, what else is like this that I can think of? I don't know. Glad Beast, pretty much, off the top of my head. Um, so you don't use Polymerization, you summon your Cyber Dragon, and then you can just go into this guy straight away and get rid of whatever's in their extra monster zone. It's really good, it forces out Heavenly Spheres, for example, is something that you always see in the extra zone. Uh, it can get rid of weird shit like Hextia, for example. You know what I mean? It's really, really good, honestly, it is really good. Uh, it's good in any matchup, too. So, uh, it gains attack then times the amount of materials, he'll always be on 2-4 pretty much, you use your Cyber Dragon and their extra monster zone, so yeah, 2-4. Nice, he's really good. Uh, Americans like to play 3 of this, Europeans like to play 2 of this, I think 2 is enough personally, but I guess if you want to play 3 you can. And then the next guy is Khmer Tech Fortress Dragon, this guy is basically like this guy, except for all machines on the field. So if you're playing going second against any machine deck, this guy just rapes them pretty much, if you're pretty much Orcus right now obviously, so... It uh, cannot be fusion, use the fusion material, I think both of them say that, uh, yes, so you link them off, which is fine. Send the above cards and either players field to the graveyard, you don't use polymerization. So it's Cyber Dragon and one or more machine monsters. Uh, the attack and defense of this guy, no, the attack of this guy, sorry, uh, times a, a thousand times the number of materials. So this is why Hearth summons or searches him, this is why using machine dupe to summon two of him off this is good. This is why having three of these to search cyber, you know, this guy is great. He's pretty much a normal monster that can summon himself from the hand. But because of these, he's actually really good. And that's why you play three cyber dragons. So, yeah. Against uh, Orcus, you can basically just make this clear their whole field. Europeans play one of this because if you use one, you should be winning. You should be done. And then uh, Americans, for some reason, play two of this. If you want to play two, you can. But I guess because Orcus are really prominent... They play two, but Europeans kind of see it as if you use one of these, you've won anyway, so yeah. Anyway, last two cards. So, Cyber Dragon Nova. I'm doing way better for time this time, believe it or not. Uh, once per turn, detach material from this card, target Cyber Dragon in your graveyard, special on that target. So he's a monster reborn by detaching, which is really nice. Uh, this is the main effect because uh, Nova is summoned by putting on top of this guy. Or uh, Infinity is summoned by putting on top of this guy. Um, anyway, I'll read it to you anyway, of course. So, once per turn, detach material. Target a Cyber Dragon Graver special on that target. Then, once per turn, quick effect, you can banish the Cyber Dragon from your hand or face up on the field. This card gains 2-1. So you can basically banish the thing you just summoned and then uh, uh, he can then go up to 4-2. So you can out stuff by battle, which is great, of course. And then when this card is sent to the graveyard by opponent's card effect, you can special summon a Machine Fusion from the extra deck. That never comes up. Uh, the summoning from Graveyard is actually really nice because you can summon back Nashter with Nova before you overlay into Infinity. So this guy uh, is like Lightning. You put him on t Utopia the Lightning. You put him on top of Nova. So you use this guy, detach, summon back Nashter. Nashter summons something else. It's really, really, really good. And then uh, Infinity, three level six lights. You're not making him that way. You put him on top of Nova pretty much. Nova and his materials become this guy's materials, okay? Gains 200 attack for each material. Uh, normally you'll have detached from Nova unless you're going first. And have nothing in the grave. Uh, so he will usually be 2-5. And if you're going first and there's nothing in the graveyard to revive it, Nova, he'll be 2-7. And then you can target an attack position monster. You're on the field. Attach to this guy as a material. So it targets, but it's non-destruction, non-banishing. It's really, really strong. So it basically eats anything and makes it a material. Really good. And then once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can attach material from this, negate it. And if you do, destroy it. Really, really good. Um, really good as one of your going first turn cards. And that's everything. So now I'll show you a couple of profiles because it's the end of the video. Uh, so this is deck one, top 64, Jonathan Miller, UK Nationals. Uh, this was two months ago, keep in mind. So some of this stuff can change depending on uh, meta, I guess. But 
Uh, for the most part, this is obviously up to date. So, we're in the down season after all. So I'm not going to read through all these to keep the video shorter. Uh, but now's your time to screenshot or to pause if you want a net deck or whatever. Uh, anything of note that I guess I could point out is he's playing Pleiades. He said it was actually really good. Most people wouldn't play this, but I think it's cool. I love Pleiades. I actually have Concellers, <laughs> uh, which is funny, but yeah. Uh, he said that Barload never really came up and he probably cut it for something else, which is funny because I see Decode right beside that, so I don't know. He really liked um, Gamma and Jizukiro is searchable uh, off Cyber Repair Plant, so play this, by the way. Nice. Uh, yeah, he played three of this as well, and he played two hertz. Anyway, moving on. So, yeah, if you haven't paused by now, you can go back. Uh, next build is top 16, Frank. Uh, so, I'm going to do my best, right? Uh, Frank. Okay. <laughs> uh, Krizanich, I think. Slovenian national. So, if I fucked up your name, I'm really sorry, but, you know, not my native tongue, okay? Um, he played three Nashter then, and two hertz. Two... Searchable Jizukiro, really good. He played the Levianir thing, which is really cool. Um, he played triple Overload Fusion and the Cyberload Fusion. So he's playing two Rampage Dragon. Most times this will be at one, but because he's got multiple things, uh, yeah, it's at, three, it's at two. So that's pretty cool. Uh, main deck this and main deck evenly matched. It is going second deck after all. And yeah, he likes uh, Platinum Gadget. He said it's great because it summons Nasha from the hand and extends. It's pretty cool. I actually really like that idea. Um, and yeah, that is that. And then pause this if you want to uh, net deck, I suppose. Oh, fuck, look, I jumped to the top. And then the last build is first place. All I got was his name is Simon. Uh, this is in Montreal Regionals in Canada. Uh, pretty normal, I'd say. He's the guy who's playing dry, though, which is very strange. And then he's also playing something else oh yeah one uh machine dupe and then he played upstart because he says the consistency is the only problem with this deck and that it is a quite consi consistent deck but he just wanted extra i suppose got greedy for consistency which is a good thing he said um vanity fiend was really good people made him go first all the time and that this was great anyway i'm gonna stop there i've already gone way too long um even though i said this was supposed to be a shorter version of my first attempt uh and yeah thank you so much for watching if you want any deck covered next comment let me know i'd be really happy to do that because i've covered all the meta stuff there's loads of other decks i can do anyway uh whether it's crusadia um luna lights or some random stuff i mean anything even if it's not a super competitive deck i'd be happy to cover it so yeah thanks so much for watching drop a like if you like subscribe if you want to see more and thank you again bye bye